At Google I.O. 2022, the Google Play team unveiled one of the biggest updates to their in-app billing and subscriptions library yet, Google Play Billing Library 5. This new version introduced a separation between what you sell, a subscription, and how you sell, a base plan and offers. This also introduced the monetization.subscriptions API for managing this new subscription structure to the Google Play Developer API. Fast forward to now, and as of January 1st, 2024, all new apps must use the new monetization.subscriptions APIs to manage their subscription catalog instead of the old in-app products APIs. For existing apps, there's a short extension to May 1st, 2024 to migrate over to the new API. My colleague Rick wrote up a blog post with more details about the changes, but here's the upshot. Going forward, the in-app products API is solely used to manage one-time purchases, while the new subscription structure, subscription, base plan, and offer will be managed using the new monetization.subscriptions APIs. You may start seeing a warning message like this show up in your Google Play console. You're using the in-app product API to manage subscriptions, which is now deprecated and will stop being supported for new apps in January 2024 and for all apps in May 2024. Start using the new subscriptions API to get new features, including multiple base plans and offers, as well as prepaid plans. All this means is that prior to May 2022, someone working on your app used in-app products to manage subscriptions or one-time purchases. It doesn't necessarily mean that's the case today. When Google introduced Play Billing Library 5, they converted all subscriptions to the new model and set all converted subscriptions to be read-only in, in the Google Play console. Because once a converted subscription was edited in the console, the old in-app products API would no longer work for that subscription. So if you have read-only subscriptions in your Google Play console, that means there's a chance you're still using the old in-app product API. RevenueCat already doesn't use the in-app product API for subscriptions. So if you're using us, you're already taken care of here. You can safely set your subscriptions to editable and ignore this message, unless someone in your company is using this API outside of RevenueCat. If you're part of a larger organization and aren't sure if you're using this API, check with your Android or platform team members. If you are still using the old API, you'll need to migrate to the new monetization.subscription API before May 2024. Check out the full blog post for details on how to do this migration manually yourself. Or you could take this opportunity to switch to using RevenueCat and let us handle future migrations for you. You can find a link to the detailed blog post in the description below. And for everything else RevenueCat, visit RevenueCat.com.